What's up, YouTube? This your girl, Miss Naima, Journey to You, coming back to you with another video. And as you can see, I am in the kitchen, and I'm like, why not I give my subscribers a video in the kitchen? So, um, today I had a full day of training, as you guys were with me pretty much all day. And now it's time to cook. Not eat, but cook. So today I have some salmon, sweet potatoes, beets, green peppers, onions. And um, probably going to make it with a nice salad. Um, so I'm going to actually season everything up. Cut, thing, cut all the vegetables up that I'm going to need. Start prepping them to be cooked. So I'm going to start with the sweet potato. Since the sweet potato cooks the longest. And I'm just lightly coating um, the skin with some sunflower seed oil. I actually... Enjoy cooking it like this. I don't know, something about the skin. When it comes out the oven, it's just, it's just perfect. So I'm gonna add this to the oven. My two sweet potatoes. my lime, add some more lime to the fish, I had already cleaned it, I was going to add some lime and some lemon, anyone that knows me knows I love cooking with lemon, lemon on everything, lemon on absolutely everything. I'm just gonna put this to the side and get straight to the beets. Roasted beets are definitely my favorite. You know, you can always tell the purpose of a fruit or vegetable by the color. So beets are red, it's good for the blood. Yeah. We'll definitely yeah. flush you out. So I must say I had a very um productive training day. Um I was able to go out to the lake. Get a three mile run in, and after each mile, I did 25 burpees, 20 squats, 15 push ups, and they have um, bars there, so I was able to put the bars. So I was happy about that. And then I also um, did my regular 100 pulls, 100 pushes. 100 crunches um, that I just started doing this week, so I'm gonna do it every day for the next. My goal is to get to the first 30 days, and then once I get to that 30 days, um, I may add another 
30 days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'll definitely keep you guys posted. Yeah, yeah, but I, I, I want to do like a like a transformation like yeah, challenge yeah. for myself yeah. and um, just show you guys like yeah. how just even adding just a little bit of exercise regimen to your your daily functions of life just you know ins and out of your days how 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 much your body will benefit from it you're in not even just your body, your mind. You know, you want to eat better. You want to be around good energy all the time. You talk more positively to you, to yourself. Um, you know, it's just a whole 360. It's not so much just, oh, just looking great. Yeah, that's, that's part of it too. And feeling great. But... Just really reconnecting to your true self. And I definitely will say um, training definitely helped ground me a lot. And just keep my head up, you know, just keep my thoughts clear. And, you know, I just started cutting out things that no longer served me. And not sitting back and having to explain why I, why I go about things and how I go about it. You know, we're not all perfect. Um, you know, but this is a journey to us all. Everybody's journey is different. So, you know. So I just um, finished cutting the beets up, and now I'm gonna peel the skin and then soak them, season them, put them in the oven. They're so good. I don't know if you guys are a fan of beets, but they're definitely underrated. I love me some beets. Beets, asparagus. Collard greens is actually one of my favorite vegetables that I don't think gets enough credit. True. My grandmother lived over 90, 90 plus years and every week she would she would make a pot of collard greens and every day she would have collard greens. She's, she never had any um, problems going to the restroom because those, you know, those collard greens, they clear you out. They, they pretty much, you know, clean, just clean it. This is beautiful and they taste good, you know, and I don't eat the meatless. I don't eat meat. Um... I still eat fish, so you see I'm cooking fish. I still, but soon I'm probably going to stop with that. The hard thing is going to be the, the, the shellfish for me. But one day at a time, and, um, you know, nothing has to be done overnight. So I'm just um, finishing up with these beets. Oh, yeah, like I was saying before, so... Yeah, beginning it in, um, you know, sorry if I talk all over the place. That's, <laughs> that's just me. Let me, let me get back to, but, um, yeah, I just felt, I felt good. You know, I have this, um, awards dinner coming up in April, so I'm extremely excited about it. So I'm like, uh. Gotta, I gotta look strong, you know. Gotta look strong. All these gonna be all these powerful, wonderful athletes that I compete with. I love my calisthenic community family. Just some real inspirational people. Um, real, just, just. I'm telling you, calisthenics is for the realest. Like anybody who is involved like heavily like extremely passionate about it 
um, they want to teach, they want to learn more, just learning the fundamentals, learning the history, learning the science, learning where it all comes from, um, really just speaks volumes on an individual's um, character. And I will say about 99% of the people that I met in the calisthenics community are like, they they were some real individuals. Real individuals. And I don't mean like real, like all that old just being hard, just real of to who they are, their love for their sport, their love for their for life, for themselves, for their families, for the sport. You know, we do these we do this for nothing. You know, nobody's getting paid to get up and and commit and train every day just to you know compete a few times a year. You know, for a trophy for bragging rights. You know, it's just so much deeper than that. I've, you know, I've, I've yet to experience until now. And anybody knows me, I'm an, I'm an athlete. I've always um, partaked in sports throughout my life. You know, I was a swimmer growing up. I was um, also ran track. Also did martial arts. Um, did a little basketball, a little baseball. You know what I'm saying, and even and if I wasn't a part of it, I've been a part of it maybe through like a sibling. Maybe I had a sibling that was into a particular sport, and the amount of love that is just there and support that comes with just being um, an athlete is amazing. You know, we have some good people that come out and they don't even, you know, they don't even compete, but they will come out to support, you know? And I think that's remarkable. So, shout out to the Cal State community, you beautiful people. You guys are wonderful. You guys know who you are. Cal State community through YouTube, Cal State community through competition. Um... You know, just spreading the lifestyle, you know? Pioneers, the all the OGs, all the new Gs, all the baby Gs, you know? All the women, children, men, fit over 40, fit over 50, fit moms. You guys are all dope. So, I'm just going to finish up here. I'm going to cut this this video is actually kind of long, but it's gonna be like it's probably gonna be a little bit longer because I'm 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 sure I'm gonna want you guys to see the finished product. But I was like, you know, let's just why not chop it up with my subscribers? I want you guys to know I'm a real person, you know. I'm a real person. I go through life, I you know. Life throws me curveballs too. It's not all gets and game, and you know, there's no reason to look at anybody in envy, jealousy, or hate because we all here trying to get it one way or another. You know, spread awareness, awareness, love, peace, and joy, happiness always. You know, so I'm gonna see you guys in a few, and um, by then, this the. Food will probably be going into the oven or coming out the oven. Probably coming out the oven. So, I'll see you guys soon.